remember what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a, front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give us some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me it would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Your style's gotten so refined, Luke. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how Oh. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words in the past couple of days than she's talked in the whole year. Not sure how you do it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. Er, that's... <laughs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading that edgy novel with her. Well, I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. Alright, alright. I get you. Just be careful, alright? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up, so if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Er, uh, alright. The Lady Who Knows Everything. <clears throat> An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth, the lady who knows everything, a beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift in the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dimming star glimmering in the twilight sky, until one day, the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between a thumb and a forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me black afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Alright. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers is the sort of thing that gives life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind. That's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, or in a way it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, the world would start to lose its meaning. You know... Or, you know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in this club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. Ha! <laughs> it's funny, because they actually are. <laughs> I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? <laughs> She, she breaks the fourth wall a couple of, So, like, she asked me to save. She knows what's going down. Uh. Ah, yeah, that. I mean, anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too, too shy? Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid that it's not good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find out other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you what, that your writing is good, or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Alright. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something did... So, something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase. <laughs> oh, sorry, I skipped that. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, the stagnating air is calm and foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Oh, no. 
In your in your books, maybe. Look, the only thing that's different is Sayori isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Ah, <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she went, just went to pee. That's Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me lately, so I didn't want to force it. Woo! <laughs> that curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. <laughs> Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival. Oh, she's avoiding that. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. <laughs> but we need a lot of them. In different flavors. Can you handle all that by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will help me design them. As for you, Yuri. Yuri, you can... Um... Hmm? Guys... Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... am useless. No! <laughs> That's not it at all! You're the most talented person here, you know? Hmm. Now... <laughs> now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah! That may be the case. But if I can also be a leader of my own, I won't grow as a person. So, you're, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? You should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I love atmosphere. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Luke. The one who is truly useless. Ah, <laughs> don't say that. In fact... Both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I'd be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice. Or Monica. And you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble, mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned you'd like to handle the baking on your own. Luke may not be around if you only make him... Um, Luke may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, you may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Luke to... What are you saying? That would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? God, guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Luke to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez, can we just settle this already? Yeah, Luke, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. Ah! Uh, <gasps> there's a Sayori option. That's a good option. Okay, I'm gonna save, though. That feels right. It feels right to spend time with Sayori. Even though my poetry is with Yuri. Sayori's not been, not been feeling alright. I gotta support her. I gotta be a good friend. It's not all about getting the girl. Gotta be a good friend. I'm gonna be a good friend. I mean, if it's gonna be anyone, I'd prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. Did you really hate us that much? No. Sorry, I, I didn't mean for this to be different. Difficult. Ah. Uh... 
Okay, well, that's not something I can pick, apparently. Well, my second choice has to be Yuri. Well, I'll probably be the most useful helping out with Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No. I was just saying... Ah. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Luke? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I guess your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah, I already said I'd be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Huh. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word. I, I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Luke? Huh. Me? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say I'm interested in how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Hmm. Natsuki. What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh. Your anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Luke picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. Nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Well, why? Um, um... Well, I guess I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're all trying to cheer me up all of a sudden? I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only... No, Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Hmm? You better bet my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah, I believe you. Yeah, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone picks up their things. These voices are difficult for me, man. They're taking the toll. They're taking the toll. Okay. <clears throat> I start to follow Monica and Suki outside of the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um. Yeah? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. I should give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Huh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought it would be... I'd be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. No, well, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I'd prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, uh, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so... I'll just Wait, is she hiding something at her house? <laughs> uh, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Luke. I think we make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. Really? <laughs> After the chocolate that happened yesterday? Um, let's see. You're forgetting the one reason with the most- Oh, you're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But- Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You want me to point out- You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. He looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out of the door and Yuri follows. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yuri's gonna be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this 
Oh, I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, but who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shook my head. Why do I feel nervous at that say that Sayori finds about out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Oh, Sayori's gonna see Yuri coming over, and she's not gonna appreciate that. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. Ugh, the drama. The drama that happens when you have to choose one. <laughs> this ain't no this ain't no harem game. Uh, Alright, it's already Sunday. It's been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert, and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay with me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. That's a good idea. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. 